Hello guys, let's start with a, a system where we can uh, respawn or maybe uh, have spawn point where, where, there, where our player or maybe other entities can spawn. Okay, so it's probably something we're going to use in different games as well. So let's create a new uh, C-sharp script in our shared folder and let's call this uh, spawn point. Yeah. And let's create an empty game object. And let's call this uh, spawn point uh, container. And let's create a new empty game object and rename this to spawn point. And add the spawn point script to our spawn point uh, game object. Uh, for now, we're just going to use uh, a single uh, spawn point. Um, so we're not using any teams or, or anything, but we're going to uh, implement that in a later video. Okay, let's open up the spawn point script. And now what we want to do, we want to draw our spawn point in the editor, but not in the in the game. And we're going to use the gizmos for it. So um, you can create this one, uh, avoid on um, draw gizmos. And then we can say uh, gizmos a color. Let's first do a, maybe a color blue. And let's make a gizmos um, gizmos uh, let's draw a wire a wire cube. It takes two vector trees, one for the position of the wire cube and one for the size. So let's first do the transform uh, position and the size will be vector 3 1 so it's a, it's a cube. Now if we look at this, the spawn point container, let's reset this to origin. And this one should be the origin as well. Now we can see our cube uh, right here. But uh, as you can see, it, it's like halfway in, in uh, sunken in the ground because the, uh, uh, the transforms origins in the middle. And uh, if we rotate it, um, we don't see it reflecting our spawn point. So to fix that, we're gonna first we're gonna do um, set the matrix of the gizmos uh, matrix. This equals to our transformed um, local to world matrix. Now, now we can say for our position, just say factor three dot zero. Now what it does, it will it do exactly the same, only it will uh, use the matrix from our transform. So I'm not entirely sure if I say it correctly, but now if I rotate it, it rotates the gizmo as well. So our uh, forward is the is the the, the z uh, axis, the blue one. So now we can actually see in which way our transform is looking. Uh, for our when we are using this uh, script. Okay, now let's reset it back to our center. Now one more thing we want to do, we want to add it, we want to have the um, the origin at the bottom of our cube just for cosmetic purposes. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, uh, factor 3 up times 1 so we're going to add one factor to it, one only in the up uh, direction. Now you can see what it does. It raises one meter. And this is uh, exactly the same as this new, um, new factor 3, 0, 1, 0. But I prefer to use this shorthand um, factor 3, 1. Uh, sorry, uh, like this. Factor 3 up times 1. Okay, um, I'm not, maybe it, it tells us here. Yeah, it, it says here on the right, um, shorthand for writing vector zero, 010. Zero. Okay, never mind that. Now, as you could see, now it's like up here. Now we're just gonna uh, increase the height of our uh, cube as well. So let's um, add this to our size, also factor three up times one. And now it's it's 
uh, around a player. Now if I duplicate this, drag this out, and rotate it around, I can actually see uh, where my spawn points will be later on. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to um, give our player uh, a way to die, take damage maybe, uh, to prefer saying so, and then we're going to um, respawn at one of these locations. So let's um, go to our player uh, script. Let's see, do we still have a health? Uh, yeah, where is this one? In our combat, of course. Um, yeah, so let's go to our player and to create a new uh, script. Let's call this player health and assign this to our player. There we go. Open it up. And let's uh, derive from our destructible. Just like we did with the with the health script. This is the uh, the respawner we are not we are not using uh, anymore, I believe, when we remove the cube. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to say uh, in our script player health Let's uh, override uh, the uh, die method. Now we're gonna die, of course, and then we're gonna say um, when we die, we want to respawn at one of those spawn points. So with our spawn point container here selected, let's jump over to our. Oh, no, let's just keep it here uh, for now. Let's just gonna. Open the player health. Let's make a, a um, serialized field for our uh, spawn point. We we are going to change this in a later uh, video because now we are simply assigning the spawn points to our player. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit different uh, later, probably. But we're going to do it like this first. Uh, okay, when we die. Well, first, let's say uh, um, void uh, spawn spawn at new at new spawn point something like this. Now we're gonna say um, int spawn point spawn index equals to uh, random range which takes in a minimum and a maximum. The minimum is the range, and the maximum is the spawn point uh, length. Uh, minus one, because it will say, uh, if we got two spawn points, it will give us two minus one. So our spawn index will be zero and one, which counts for the two spawn points. And then we say, um, let's first just simply do transform set position uh, position equals to the um, spawn points and adding the spawn index transform position and for our rotation as well equals to the spawn points spawn index spawn index spawn and from rotation. Okay, now to test this out, um, we can say here spawn at new spawn point, and we're gonna make a, a void test uh, die or something, and then we say uh, die, and we're gonna execute this code from our editor. So we're gonna add a bracket here and then say context menu, uh, test die. Now when this compiles, it's gonna add a right click menu on our player health class. So if I now right click here, you can see test die, which if we are running this in the, um, at, at runtime, it will execute the code. 
Okay, let's create our spawn points and we can easily uh, do this by uh, dragging in the spawn points like so. Okay, now let's see what happens. If we right click our test die, now we get spawn over to a different position. Let's do it again, same spot. I hope we are going to our other as well, or did I pick uh, mess it up with the minus one? Probably. So I was talking about something which isn't the case, maybe. Let's give it another try. Test die. Now we are here. We are still here. There we go. And we switch over. Okay, so if we get the first part I said about the indexes, let's check here. Spawn point length is two, should be zero. Strange, let me check this here. Print spawn index. I just wanna make sure that we are not getting our index out of range error here. Now with our console open, let's hit test die. It says zero, one, again one, now it's three, let's uncheck collapse, so it will, okay, well, it seems to work the way we 